things that I could kind of pretty much guarantee ish for the majority of people that watch this video is that you could end up having a shorter backswing and hitting the ball further. Now the reality of this is because of leverage. So you need to maximize leverage to be able to maximize your sort of theoretical distance. And what happens with most golfers is they don't do that. Most golfers have a tendency to move off the golf ball and bend their arms. So if you measure the distance between my hands and my sternum, this is quite a narrowing position. This is why you also look this way on the way through. Therefore, you're kind of putting a lot of effort in and you're not getting that much reward. The other problem with this sort of technique is it does make you susceptible to things like miss hitting. So when you start moving off the ball, bending your arms, it doesn't mean that you can't occasionally hit a straight shot, but like I say, you're not gonna hit it that far, but more importantly, you're also going to be more susceptible to bad shots than you are good shots. So if I get a golfer who reaches out, who has a tendency like that, which is a large proportion of golfers, then what I'll get them doing is a bit of a drill. Now, deep down, the drill is the way that I really want them to probably swing in the long term. But what I get them to do is I say, right, get your weight on your lead side and in the back swing position, I don't want you to swing back very far, but I want you to feel like you're trying to get your hands as far away from your body as possible, therefore maximizing the width and therefore creating quite a powerful lever. In the through swing, just maximize the lever. Now, when they're able to sort of do this, what they start to notice is the way that they put less effort in, they get a more efficiency in terms of the strike, they reduce the spin on the ball, and the ball starts to go a very similar distance with very little effort. Now, as time goes by, you can obviously advance that to a fuller swing, right? So then you could kind of go from learning here to here, you know, and then you can obviously learn to shift your weight as you, and that's how I tend to progress with my coaching. But to start off with, most of you will be able to hit it further with a kind of theoretical no short backswing position than you do with a long backswing position. And the only way you're gonna know it is by practicing it. So the best thing and the feeling that you're after is make sure you get enough weight on your lead side because you wanna make sure you get contact, feel like your hands are moving as far away from the side of your body as you possibly can in the backswing position and as far through as you can in the through swing position. And if you start to work on both of those, you will start to notice that you're getting, I promise you, very similar very similar, if not more distance, with a very, very short backswing. It's always different for different golfers, but give it a try. I'll see you soon. I'll wait to hear from you.